All right, back at it. So I got the machine all greased up. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of eking out past the races here, which I did it on every bearing. I kind of turned it, you know, as I was pumping my grease gun, um, hoping it works between the bearings. I don't know. I would imagine those are roller bearings, maybe ball bearings. I have no idea, but I just figured it'd work in between the gaps. It's a little cold, so the grease isn't flowing very good, but I think it'll be all right. I'll, I'll grease it up after a couple hours of use again, let it get warm if we ever get to that point. Um, that's kind of where we're at today. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this pulley, and uh, which I'm happy to report came in the mail from Circle G, free of charge. Um, no, no cracks. Looks pretty good. Pretty stoked about it, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. It's as tight as I think I'm gonna get her. I don't know. But when I first got it off the, the, the I couldn't do that. I couldn't move it at all. So those are tight. Um but again are still off. About a quarter of an inch, a little less. And I just don't have any clue how to make this win any farther. So I'm about to just see how it runs and call it good. Hope for the best. Maybe it'll get a little slop in the bearings and it'll line up on its own eventually. I don't know. <laughs> I am tired of wrenching on this thing after three, four weeks. I'm just done with it, you know. <clears throat> it moves freely now. And everything's greased and tightened. But as you can see, the belts are just kind of weird. These are tight. These ones aren't bad, and this middle one's kind of, eh. I don't want to play. But, I mean... I couldn't do that when I got it, so we can kind of just see how she runs. Hopefully the belts don't wander off all the damn time. That middle one's a freaking nuisance, it's not doing anything. Maybe they'll wear down into their holes if they're tight and this one will do something, I don't know. The other four are pretty good, this one's just Chinese belts. One more tooth than the rest or something, I don't know. <clears throat> so after all that I still have belts that are pulleys that don't quite line up and to be honest that bottom shaft doesn't look anywhere near straight I mean I could adjust it but I just why the frig don't they do that themselves <clears throat> I'm saying I don't know if you guys you guys probably can't tell but I'm standing back here looking at it I can see the top pulley's nice and straight the bottom one's kind of off cantered bottoms in further than the top it's not a lot but it's enough I can notice it naked eye 
It might just be the way the belts look to me. I'm not sure, but I don't know. Here it is all done, um, as close as it's going to be to it being done. So I guess the next video we're going to be uh, trying it out. I'm kind of surprised, it doesn't look too bad, but we'll see how it does. So here we are, maiden voyage I suppose. We'll uh, get the tractor fueled up, get the backhoe off, get the three point on. Get that Jinma hooked up and see how she runs. I think I'm gonna do some back blading first. Builder's been out here pretty busy, so I'll smooth some things out before I get the uh, chipper hooked up, get fueled up, that good stuff first. So stay tuned. Off oh, neutral. feeding Well, it keeps it keeps getting stuck. Yeah. That drum is supposed to go up and down, Together. but it's twisted. Mm -hmm. And when it gets twisted, it stops and it burns the belt. And you, you can't move it because you got to lift the the drum up off the log. She's twisted. You ain't gonna spin that figure. It should take that log no problem. After wrestling branches out of it for a couple hours, I decided to call it a day. Uh, it was pretty obvious that the feeder barrel was becoming wedged in the chute because for whatever reason there was excess slop in the mechanism it was causing it to be wedged between the chute. The sides of the chute uh, took up a little slop by cutting two horseshoe shaped slider pucks out of uh, a poly cutting board I got at Walmart. Actually, it works pretty good. I, I cinched it together with a piece of bale and wire at the bottom so it wouldn't pop up. I haven't had any problems with it since, but uh, yeah, it was definitely a, a manufacturer error. All right, spacers made. Try number two, see how this works. I can't fix the disengage lever yet, but uh. Let's give it a whirl, see how those spacers hold up.
Oh, that's gonna vibrate right off, isn't it? Oh, it starts small, really small. <clears throat> I ain't gonna move it. This was the guy that kept getting bound on yesterday. Shaft popped off, got that back on, no big deal. Um, I fixed this so I can turn the feet on and off. Just threw some quarter inch bolts on it. Feels like it's pretty good. Probably use a shot of grease, but be good enough for now. I think my pucks are gonna work, I really do. Um, but I do believe I gotta get used to running it. That wasn't a very big tree, but it was, you know, the branches stuck out real wide and straight. I think I'm gonna have to get, get used to uh, feathering that feed drum because it's aggressive and it does bite. So hopefully uh, I can try it again here and not have too many failures. That's uh, that's a ticket.
few inches later. time here is the bearing failure <laughs> as you can see the casting broke the bearing looks all right I mean I did grease it but I'm looking at the race and I don't see how it must have spun well obviously it spun I should say but there's no hole tapped through the race or drilled through the race so the grease can get in the bearing so I don't know but it definitely I saw it splooge out of the sides of the bearings when I greased it you can kind of see this one. You can see where a little bit came out there. And I spun it and greased it all the way around as best I could. This, I mean, this one's still fine. But obviously as you put a stick in there, it lifts it lifts the whole mechanism up. And that's what was banging. When it gets up to speed, it started to float. But here's a replacement bearing Circle G you sent me. And you can see there, there's P209s like the other ones are labeled. But look at the difference in the casting. That's That's pretty substantial. I don't know if I just got an old machine or or maybe the, they made bearings cheaper for one iteration. I don't I don't know, but this thing's about double the thickness all said and done. Hopefully they're right bearings. I mean the collars are they look right. I don't have my caliper with me, but I measured the insides uh inside diameter's like inch and three quarters. Outsides, you know. A little over two two and a quarter something like that but yeah um pretty different housing so we'll see what that does hopefully it helps hopefully i can get this thing apart more videos to come talk to you a bit